Hello everyone, welcome to a Raid Shadow Legends video. This is the Hell Hades Free to Play Challenge update. Uh, is the fusion possible? There is a current fragment uh, collection going on at the moment, fragment summon for uh, White Queen Anorka. Do I think I can get this done on my free to play game? Uh, at the moment, we are on day 30. I've just picked up Hikatoon and she's going to go into my arena team. We'll look at her in just a moment. Um, but so on day 30, 30 days in, is it possible to do the first fusion that's come up on the account? Uh, spoiler alert, I don't think it is, but let me just have a look at some of the uh, tournaments and events that are going on, and do I think I can do them? The training, uh, champion training tournament. This is definitely doable. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult. There's quite a high number to get done. Um, I'm currently one of my fourth at the moment. Um, I, was, I was a bit higher a moment ago, so people have been pushing. Um, so I could, if I push real hard, there is potentially another 10 fragments on offer. Uh, you can't ever guarantee this though, because you don't know how hard other people can be pushing. Uh, so, you know, I could do this, um, but I, I could do this, I think. It would be very difficult, but I think I could do it. So we'll see how that goes. So potentially, this is doable. Classic Arena takedown. Okay, yeah, so this one I have done. This is where I've got my five fragments from. Uh, currently in eighth place. If I can sort of stay somewhere around here just by being active in the arena, just, just doing arena battles whenever I can, I could potentially get some extra energy, uh, some gems maybe. I don't think I'm going to be able to push it up there to the top to get the relentless gear, which would be very nice. I don't think I can do it though, uh, unless I'm extremely active. Um, so that one is done. The finite tournament I have been pushing, but I think this has potentially been a waste of energy because if I can't get this fusion done, um, then I could have spent the energy I spent in the finite somewhere else would have been better for the account, like just doing more champion training because I'm still only on two six stars. I'm getting closer to the third six star, but yeah, so I'm currently in third place on this one. So again, I could push it, but there's no real incentive. The relentless gear would be very nice. You might get a load of trash though, it's difficult, it's all RNG based, but some 6 star, even 5 star epic stuff would be really nice. The rare stuff, you know, I'll take it at this stage, but yeah, so if I can just keep in the mix there, that's pretty good. But this is definitely doable, um, it would take a fair amount more energy to get those 5 fragments, but I'm going for it. Um, so that's the, uh, the tournaments, definitely all of them within the possibility of doing, I think. The events though, this is where things take a little bit of a dive. First of all, the Artifact Enhancement event. At the moment, I have 1,000, oh sorry, 1,800,000. Uh, I don't think that's really enough to do an Artifact Enhancement event. Obviously at lower account levels, the requirements are lower than they would be uh, if you were a higher level. So about 3,000 points, you can see I haven't really done much at the moment. Uh, 3,000 points, I don't know whether I've got enough uh, to do do that. Let me just check something. If I just go on to, um, okay, here we go. Hi, Katoom. Uh, I, I, I've, I've actually got a one-star blessing for her, uh, which is really nice. I picked that up in the shop a few days ago because I knew I was going to get her. When I saw her, I thought, I'm going to grab that. So I fully ascended her, leveled up to level 40. I'll probably keep her at that for now, I think. Um, but are any of these worth taking up to uh, 16? Okay, this one's actually really good. It's got a double speed roll. It's a speed set. There's some crit rate and some accuracy. It's decent. Let's take that up to level 16. How much silver does that cost? Okay, 1.2 million. <laughs> so you can see that's wiped out nearly all my silver. It's about half my silver I had. And what does that get me in the artifact enhancement event? The first two pieces. So, yeah, when I've got 328 points, I need 3,000. I don't think I can do that. Um, I do have a lot of stuff, uh, you know, a lot of this gear I can sell. So there's maybe a million or so silver that I can gather from that. You can see like all these destroyed, I can just sell all this stuff. Um, and uh, I, I can sell all this stuff, you know, there's a lot of things I can sell. But I don't think I've, that's enough silver to be able to, um, uh, another 30,000 there, but that's, that's not going to help. So I don't think that's done. I, I don't think I can do that. Dungeon Divers, again, this is horrendous. Dungeon Divers is so difficult these days. They just keep putting the requirements up and up and up. Um, so I've been pushing, as you saw, that I've been pushing Finite a lot. I've still only got 640 points. Now, the first day the Finite tournament was on, the Dungeon Divers event wasn't on. 
So that is only sort of one day's worth rather than two days that I have been pushing on Finite. But even so, that's a lot of points. So I think this is probably out of reach as well. Uh, it, it is it is doable. It depends on, on how many hours I want to put into this. I've got other things to do with my life. I don't think I can put in enough, um, you know, even saying, oh, you know, do it for the content. Brilliant. I can make videos on it. I'm not making raid videos particularly often. I've got other videos to make on the on the channel as well. So um, I've got other things to do. And I've got my life to live. So I can't push too many hours in Dungeon Divers. Uh, but the Summon Rush is the, is the real thing. So I I probably made a mistake by pulling a few shards that I I did have. I had some Ancient Shards and a couple of Void Shards, I think. I tried, and I tried them out. I got 300 points. Uh, I'm going to need 2,250 to be able to get five fragments. There's no way I can get the extra 10 here as well. And loads more sacred shards. So I mean, I do have two sacred shards. Um, I have the potential of getting a, another one soon because if I can beat stage 13 of the finite castle, I get another sacred shard. That still isn't enough to get even the first set of fragments. I, I could probably get these though. If I was to beat finite stage 13, Pull my three sacreds. I've got one void and one ancient at the moment I can pull. That gets me almost here and I can make up the rest with mystery shards if I want to. So I could get this if I can beat the finite, which at the moment I can't do. Um, but if I do that, I, there's still a champion chase coming uh, later, like next week or something, which means I need to pull more champions. And if I pull them all now, I've got nothing left for them. So I don't think I'll be able to get the fragments for that. And the fact is that I don't think I'm going to be able to get the fragments for artifact enhancement or dungeon divers. There's no way this this I can do this uh, this fusion. It depends on luck. You know, is are we going to get more ancients coming up in the uh, the the market? Um, you can get them randomly from dungeons. Um, at the moment, in terms of clan boss, I'm hitting uh, normal and hard. So I'm getting kind of, I can get this one. So you could potentially get a void char, but the, the drop rate is so low. I can't um, guarantee this and we're getting this. So again, I could get an ancient or a void from the, from the clan boss, but I don't think I've got any so far. So I don't think I can, um, I don't think I can rely on that. So I think it's out of the question. Uh, so the question I really ask is, do I continue just in case I can, do I continue pushing the finite? Because it's not really helping the account pushing Fire Knight. Um, do I do that or do I just abandon the fusion? Pick up the fragments where you can. This is the thing because we now have we now have the um, High Mother Maud chests. You see, I have pulled a few. I, I did have some fragments for somebody. I can't remember who it was there. Um, and I managed to pull a couple of chests and I got six fragments. I don't care about the High Mother Maud because that, that's never going to happen on this account. But the extra bits that you get with it, um, the other things, the chickens, the brews, the potions, the books, they all could be very, very useful. Um, so I'd rather get this stuff. I actually got really good RNG in terms of getting fragments um, for the number of chests I pulled. It certainly seems to be higher than some of the other people that I've seen do it. Um, but I don't want them. I want these things. I want the chickens. The barrel, the feast would be good. The books would be good. So getting as many fragments as I can could help me out here. So maybe it is worth just pushing just to, just to get some fragments to be able to exchange. So anyway, that's where I am kind of at the moment. I guess just a quick little talk on High Katoon. Um, so I've, I've put all my speed gear on her. Um, this needs to be improved massively. But you can see this one we've just done with a double speed roll. I can put some... Uh, um, uh, I can actually enchant it a little bit as well. I can I can stick a speed roll. Let's give an extra speed on there. Uh, but we have an uncommon piece that has speed on it. Uh, the shield doesn't have speed, but that's the best that I had. Now the um, the the gloves and the chest plate have terrible stats, but the uh, flat stats you never want flat stats on uh, your your bottom row here. Your chest, your gauntlets. The only time you would tolerate it, you don't even want it, but you, you could tolerate it if it's a speed set with a speed substat roll. This one does. The potential I have another one if I upgrade this to 12. 
just because I want her to be the fastest on the team. So I put all the fastest speed gear on her. So the reason we want that one is, of course, she does this this uh, A2 attack here. Fills the turn meters of all allies with 15% and places a 30% speed increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. So she does that and in conjunction with her increase all ally speed in all battles by 19%. She just makes your team go faster. And if you, in early game arena, if you can go first, you've got a much higher chance of winning. So the way my arena team I want to work, it doesn't quite work just yet. So this is my arena team. So High Katoon should go first, uh, doing the speed boost, pushing all my other champions to be able to go faster. So hopefully they will go before anyone else on the opposing team. Then you want War Maiden to go because she does an AOE decreased defense. So it makes the enemy team more vulnerable. And then I've got two hard hitters, so two nukers, who then should hopefully wipe out the enemy team. Unfortunately, I haven't got enough good gear to make this work yet. War Maiden isn't going in the right time. She is actually the slowest on the team, which is not good. So um, I have Hygatoon goes first, so that, that works. So she does the increased speed, then the others go, then it goes, and then, yeah. So we win, but it's not perfect to be able to compete I'm currently in silver three. I keep going up to silver four, then dropping down to silver three. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing at the moment. So yeah, we'll run another one just to see if it works. So we do speed boost, then two hard hits. That doesn't work. Um, she's gone. Oh, and now we've got a block damage on the opposing team. This is why you need to go fast and get your things off before the enemy gets a turn. So this is all kind of a waste. Let me just make sure that. Um, are not using up the big abilities here. We might still be able to get through it. Okay, so now he's done, so we can work on this guy. Uh, we'll just do that. Okay, so now now it's free. They can just do whatever they want now. Um, we should be able to take him down. Unless he puts block damage up again, but it's not got a back yet, so yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's the arena. But yeah, so the main goals that really are to speed up War Maiden. I want to beat Fire Knight 13. So getting a lure up to six stars, she's probably going to be my next six star, I think. Although Miss Greta Monster could be a good one as well. Um, yeah, so that's a decision I want to make. Either one would work actually, because one of the challenges I have to do is to six star a magic champion. So either a lure or Miss Greta Monster would be uh, would get me that. But yeah, still got a way to go. So anyway, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you like this little update. Let me know how you're getting on in the comment section. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.